Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word by Oswald Chambers. The title is The Great Life, and this was posted December 14th of 2019. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, verse 27. Whenever we experience something difficult in our personal life, we are tempted to blame God. But we are the ones in the wrong, not God. Blaming God is evidence that we are refusing to let go of some disobedience somewhere in our lives. But as soon as we let go, everything becomes as clear as daylight to us. As long as we try to serve two masters, ourselves and God, there will be difficulties combined with doubt and confusion. Our attitude must be one of complete reliance on God. Once we get to that point, there is nothing easier than living the life of a saint. We encounter difficulties when we try to usurp the authority of the Holy Spirit, for our own purposes. God's mark of approval, whenever you obey Him, is peace. He sends an immeasurable, deep peace, not a natural peace, as the world gives, but the peace of Jesus. Whenever peace does not come, wait until it does, or seek to find out why, it is not coming. If you are acting on your own impulse or out of a sense of the heroic to be seen by others, the peace of Jesus will not exhibit itself. This shows no unity with God or confidence in Him. The spirit of simplicity, clarity, and unity is born through the Holy Spirit, not through your decisions. God counters our self-willed decisions with an appeal for simplicity and unity. My questions arise whenever I cease to obey. When I do obey God, problems come, not between me and God, but as a means to keep my mind examining with amazement the revealed truth of God. But any problem that comes between God and myself is the result of disobedience. Any problem that comes while I obey God, and there will be many, increases my overjoyed delight, because I know that my Father knows and cares, and I can watch and anticipate how He will unravel my problems. It is perilously possible to make our conceptions of God like molten lead poured into a spe specially designed mold, and when it is cold and hard, we fling it at the heads of the religious people who don't agree with us. And that is the end of this word. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.